What is up guys, back for another episode. Uh, now you guys know that uh, a couple videos back I plasti dipped my uh, A pillars, uh, mirror bases, and B pillars. And uh, fuel doors as well. Um, now I've since went ahead and took the A pillars, B pillars, and mirror bases off. Uh, peeled off the plasti dip. Uh, scuffed everything back up, sanded it off, clear down through the paint and everything, and uh, repainted and clear coated them. Everything looks amazing, man. It's you guys will get to see it soon enough. But uh, right now I'm actually getting ready to put some truck bed liner on it. So uh, go ahead and jump to that real quick. Scotch Bright alcohol truck bed liner. Alright guys, so I figured with the issues of uh, the water since I broke the A-pillars um, from where they actually pop on there and then that little seam like actually stops water from getting down in there, I broke those. So I figure while I have them off there right now, I might as well go ahead and uh, get the old rust prevention on there and good to go. So yeah. I actually just put the second coat on there right now, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it just flows with the rest of it now. It's gonna be awesome. But you're not gonna see any of this anyway, but if water gets in there, it won't matter now, so. Got tons of water in my light. It's obviously an issue. It's been an issue for a little while now. Looks like it's time for the uh, 06 upgrade, man. Alright guys, I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of the coats. Uh, I'm just going to put uh, one more coat in about an hour, making a total of three. And then uh, i go ahead and put the A-pillars on. A-pillars are done, man. Yes, already got the mirrors on there. Mirrors look amazing. Um, B-pillars, they're ready to go on. So, uh, yeah, uh, give me a couple hours. It'll be a couple seconds for you guys. Peace. I'm actually getting really lucky today with this bed liner because... Uh, I think the temperature is only like 46, 48 degrees, something like that. But uh, the wind's actually blowing pretty hard, so it's actually helping dry this stuff. Like, normally it takes like an hour or two. Now it's like taking like 20, 25 minutes in between coats, so this stuff's awesome. So what I'm getting at is this is helping me get everything done faster so I can get the video together to get it to you guys faster so you can check it out because uh, I'm pretty excited and I want this done tonight, so... Uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to get it uploaded and you guys check it out tonight too, man. So for any of you guys that have questions about the painting or a clear coating process that I went through, uh, I actually recorded it all and then accidentally erased it. So uh, if you guys have questions about that, you can just go back and watch my uh, rear bumper painting video and that actually can tell you everything I did step by step. Same exact process, man. Alrighty, guys. Got all three coats on and done. As you can see... It's good, all nice and blacked out. So, now I can go ahead and take that rubber seal, put that rubber seal back along here and on the other side as well, man. All right, I got the seal on for this side. Got the seal on for that side. So now I can go ahead and start putting the A-pillars on, man. Alright guys, everything is back on the car, done, looks amazing, so uh, let's check it out, man. guys there you have it man I love it this is awesome so just the roof and the front bumper left and actually the engine bay and underneath the rear taillights so a few places left but uh, getting there man slowly getting there 
All right, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do the roof until springtime because I just don't. Uh, I would have to get some heat out there and figure out how to keep it heated for at least 36, 48 hours, and there's just, there's just no way. So that's going to have to wait till spring. But there's plenty more stuff I got to do. Uh, next up is going to be the fuel door and the rear lower tie brace. I also plan on, uh, actually I'll just show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. I actually want to, uh, although the uh, power steering cooler is, is, is awesome and it looks sweet, uh, I'd like to get rid of it and open that all up and just have it all just air for the radiator. And, uh, and actually lose like the hard lines and everything all the way back and then like over here where the reflector sh is supposed to be I want to cut that hole up in a little larger put the original factory um, cooler back on there and in front of that hole or cl right close to behind that hole to get air into that uh, also want to debadge the Z emblem mud that over and then uh, and then the front bumper will be ready to, to, uh, to paint, man. All right, man. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry, I apologize. It's short. But uh, I lost all the footage of me actually painting and priming and all that stuff. So I apologize for that. Um, of course, then again, you guys seen me do it a million times over and over. So, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Got a lot more things I got to do to the Z coming up. Uh, also, got a lot of changes to the apartment, man. Got all new furniture coming, so that's going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, if you guys like the video, man, make sure you smash that thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel and want to see some more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. And, uh, peace.